Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we are going to talk about ways to plus up your Disney vacation for free. I know, Disney World costs a lot of money, but there are several things you can do to make your vacation even better and it doesn't cost you a penny. So here we go. First up, don't forget to get your celebration buttons. You want to do this at City Hall in Magic Kingdom or go to guest services at other parks and you can get celebration buttons and these say it's my birthday or I'm celebrating or something like that and you can note on there what you're celebrating. And if you wear those around the park, you will see some magical things happen, potentially. You may be given an opportunity to go to the front of the line. You may be given a special dessert at a meal, potentially a little cupcake maybe for free. So you never know what's going to happen if you wear your celebration button. If it's your honeymoon or your anniversary, your birthday or anything like that, make sure that you wear your button and everyone will know that you're celebrating and you may get some perks for that. Another way to plus up your Disney vacation for free is to become part of the show. Walt always thought of the Disney parks as big shows that were happening. That's why the people that work there are called cast members. And you as a guest can actually be part of the show in several areas. There's lots of attractions that bring audience members or guests up to be part of the show, including the Streetmosphere attractions, especially in Hollywood Studios, where they bring guests in and do little skits and things like that as part of the show on the streets. And don't forget a hoop to do review and a couple of other dinner show areas. You can volunteer to be in the show. It's at Hoop to Do. It's at the end of the show where they have a few volunteers come up on stage to act out skits. So there's lots of opportunities to be part of the show in Disney World. You just have to keep your eyes open for them. And be sure to volunteer, raise your hand, wear bright colors, and make sure you are in the direct line of vision of that cast member picking that guest. Speaking of, don't forget to tell cast members at the restaurants that you are celebrating, that it's your birthday, your anniversary, your honeymoon, something like that. Again, cast members at the restaurants may be able to bring you a free dessert or bring you a little celebration cupcake or something like that. Sometimes they even decorate the table. And if you tell cast members when you book your restaurant that it's your anniversary or your honeymoon, you may at some restaurants even get a specially printed menu with a congratulations on it for you. Next, be sure to use your My Disney Experience app. This is totally free to download on your mobile device, and it is awesome. You can check wait times for all of the rides. You can book your dining reservations and change your dining reservations right there in the app. You can use mobile order to purchase at several counter service restaurants. You can also book your fast passes ahead of time, which is an awesome plus up if you've ever arrived at Disney World for your trip and realized that all the fast passes for the great rides were taken and you weren't able to get any of them. So FYI, here's our next one. Don't forget to book your fast passes in advance. So if you are staying at a property that offers early fast pass booking, you can book 60 days in advance. If you are just going to Disney World at any time, doesn't matter if you're staying on site or not, then you can book 30 days in advance. So make sure to use that fast pass booking window, get on my Disney experience and book your fast passes 60 or 30 days in advance. It will definitely make your trip much, much better once you have those very popular rides booked and ready to go. When you arrive at your resort, don't forget to ask for an upgrade. I know it sounds weird, but every once in a while they do have upgrades available. So, and those would be free upgrades too. So every time I get to a resort, I do. I asked them, I'm like, hey, are there any upgrades available? And you never know, especially if you're wearing your celebration button, they may be able to get you an upgrade. So definitely ask. You never know what's available. And also at the resorts, there's lots of free activities to do. I get the question a lot, AJ, can I go to a resort if I'm not staying there? The answer is yes, absolutely. Disney wants you to go to all of these resorts because they want you to eventually stay there. And there's lots of ways to spend money at resorts <laughs> if you're even if you're not staying there. So Disney wants you at the resorts. But there are also a lot of resort activities that are free and can really plus up your vacation. If you don't have a park ticket for a particular day, if you wanna save a little bit of money by not getting a park ticket for every single day, there's lots of things to do at the resorts, such as there's great hidden Mickey hunts at a couple of the resorts, specifically Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge also has a really fun hotel tour that you can take that's totally free. It's really, really interesting as well. They give you a lot of information about the resort's architecture and the decor elements and things like that. Really fun 
fun and totally free. Over at Animal Kingdom Lodge, there are a lot of fun resort activities you can do, including those restaurant tours that we talk about all the time. I think those are really, really awesome. They happen about four o'clock or 4.15 every day at Sanaa and Boma and Jiko. So definitely take advantage of those if you can. And for the kiddos, there's lots of fun adventures too in the resorts. Stop at the front desk or concierge and get a list of resort activities. And you are able to take part in any of those resort activities that are completely free. So definitely, definitely do that. And don't forget to just visit the resorts as well, especially in the holiday season, to go around and see all the holiday decorations. Even if it's not the holidays, it's really fun to visit the resorts and explore them. They're so beautiful. There's so many interesting Imagineering details in all of them. Definitely go check them out. Don't forget to head over to Animal Kingdom Lodge and see those animals too. That's a really fun thing to do that's totally free. Next up, be sure to ask for a good table in the restaurants. We just did a whole video on which locations you can see the fireworks from, so go check that out. When you arrive, be sure to ask for a fireworks view table. There's a couple of places where you can see the parade. Maybe if you're dining at Tony's Town Square, you can ask for a table out on the patio. You'll be able to sort of see the parade as it goes by. So there's a lot of places where you can plus up your vacation just by asking for the right table in the right restaurant. And FYI, We've got all that information in our DFB guide to Walt Disney World Dining, which you can pick up over at dfbstore.com. We have a whole section on what tables to request in certain locations. And also, don't forget to have the PhotoPass photographer take your picture with your camera. A lot of the times people think that PhotoPass photographers can only take pictures with their camera, but that's not true. They will actually take pictures with your camera or the person who's helping the PhotoPass person or the person who's helping the character. They can absolutely use your phone or your camera to take your picture with the character. And that way you don't have to pay for PhotoPass. You don't have to pay for a photo package. You can have one of the cast members take your picture with that character and then you just got that for free. So there are some awesome things you can do to plus up your Disney World vacation completely free. Definitely consider not getting a park ticket for one of your days there and doing some of these things instead, especially those resort activities. It's a great way to save some money and still have incredible adventures on your Disney World vacation. So please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on those notifications so that you get a note in your email whenever we put up a new video. Thanks so much for watching. This is AJ, and we'll see you real soon.